Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my invasion series. It's the next morning. I've made a few items here. We're going to build ourselves a uh, the next level of tool that we need, which is our lumberjack cutting machine. Um, so we need to make all these four things. We're going to get a cutting machine and then we need a motor to power this. We got a hollow projector which will show us how to build it. Um, and then we'll assemble it. We'll put it on the roof. I moved one of the trees over just so we have room to put it in. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to, need to do is make an input hatch. Um, so an input input hatch is easy. We just need a machine structure, which is like iron plates or in iron rods, which we, we don't have any plates. I didn't make everything, but I did gather up all the resources that we're going to need to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll make the plates here real quick. We'll do one thing at a time just so you can see how to put it all together here. So this thing does, it's like this thing, it's a multi-block structure, so it requires a few things to be able to do that, to put it together. So we need a, these machine blocks first. So let's build those. And that's like I said, it was pretty simple. It was just these guys and these guys. And we got 16 of them. Now if we do this, the input hatch is this way. And we also need an output hatch, which is this way. So now we got those two done. Let's have a look at it. That was the easy one, right? So now we need to make a saw blade assembly and a power input plug. Let's do the power input plug next because it's right here. So we need four batteries, four small batteries, and a machine structure, which we still have. So if we click here, it's really simple. Four tin plates, an iron rod, and two redstone. We, so we've got the redstone and the iron rod. We just need to get the tin plates here. A lot of this stuff I already had in, in storage, so I didn't really have to get too much. So we'll make this real quick. I love the animations on this. It takes so long, but it's, you know, well worth it. It's kind of jittery. When it runs smooth, it looks really great. All right. So now we got to make our batteries. Which this should give us four, right? Yeah. And we put four of these around a power input plug, or around a uh, machine structure to give us the power input plug. Now the next thing we need to do is make our saw blade, our saw. And the saw requires a saw blade and four copper plates and two copper rods. And the saw blade is four iron plates against an iron, around an iron rod. So let's make the iron plates. We, we picked up these copper plates from one of the quests that we did. So we didn't have to make those, so that's a bonus. So let's just make up these iron plates here. All right. There's our blade assembly. Right there. So it's the iron rod, iron blades or iron plates and then we put that there and these guys like so and there is our saw blade assembly. Now we need to make a motor. It doesn't tell you that you need a motor for this but I know you do. So we're not going to build the basic motor here um, which requires copper plates and copper rods and stuff. We're going to go with the gold one because uh, we've got tons of gold and it's a little bit better so we need two of these guys, two gold coils and then steel plates, which we already had, and steel rods, which we already had. So it's just a matter of making the gold coils, which is simple. Dropping the coils in, like so, and there's our motor. So now we're gonna get the last piece that we need um, from completing the quest here. So let's complete that now. So we get the cutting machine, which is what we need, and the hollow projector. Nice. So this is going to open up all this stuff here, which we're going to work on next. So let's go upstairs. We're going to put our cutting machine down. Now you want to be wary of how this goes together. So we're going to put it like right against this wall right here. Uh, so we're going to hit the hollow projector. I think it's shift. Yes. So you want to tell it what you want to do. So we're going to say cutting machine, right? And then we click. And it shows you what you need and where to put it. So we're going to click there. Nope, there. There we go. Because we're going to run our power through the wall here. So this is how it's going to go. So we need our cutting machine, which is there. This is really cool how they did this. The input hatch, which is on this side. The output hatch goes right here. 
the power plug right there. Our motor goes here. And our saw blade goes here. And now we just need to get a wrench, which I think we have. I think I picked up a wrench. I'm not mistaken. Did we get a wrench? Wrench, wrench, wrench. Maybe we didn't pick up a wrench. I do not see one here. We can't use our hammer. It doesn't work. We need a wrench. So let's get the wrench here. Uh, yeah. This little looter, is it? Does it uh, extra utilities? I think we can use this one. Two redstone and three iron. I don't know if that one works. I know this one works. So, redstone, red rose, easy enough, and three iron. Man, there was a time you'd be like, ah, I'll just go find one to save the resources, but now it's like every, everything is so easy to get. Once you start growing stuff and um, get those first quests done, get into the machines and stuff, it's so much easier. There's a witch out there now. Can you hear her? She's in the cave. Hope she vanished. All right, there we go. There's our cutting machine. So now I think we have to plug into the side, if I'm not mistaken. No, she's still down there. Okay, so... Like this, right? We should have power. Yep, powering up. Nice. There we go. Cutting machine up and running. So let's get this thing working. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, you get six wood per operation with this guy. So let's just go with the oak wood. Because we have oak wood on us. We can put this stuff away now. So you can go in here. You can go back here. The hollow projector can go down here. We're going to need this a little later. The wrench can go down here. All right, let's go up, check this out. All right, we drop it in here. And I think, turn it on. There we go. And now it's cutting the wood. We get six per operation. You can even see it going through there. This is awesome. There we go. You can do, you can turn this off to save power too, which is which is great. It should just keep charging up though, yeah. We got our, like, that's what I say, I love the wind power. Uh, but we do definitely need, we, we want to get a um, capacitors. We'll probably put them all in here. Some capacitor banks in there. Um, just so that anything after the uh, um, wind turbines can receive power if they need it. Alright, so let's go down and make a capacitor bank. We might as well. So next quest, or one of the next quests. We need a lot of redstone for this one though. Not a lot, but enough. Compared to, compared to the other ones we do. So there's the power reserves. Uh, we got redstonia crystals, double layer capacitor, and we need a basic capacitor bank. So let's go ahead and make one of these guys. So capacitor. And it's the basic one we need right here. So we need iron plates, basic capacitors, and a block of redstone. So let's grab the iron plates first. The rest of the stuff I already know how to make. So let's grab the iron plates. It's so nice not to have to keep powering this thing up every time we need to use it. I just wish it was faster. All right, let's get our plates. I want to make the double layer ones, but I think you need or the next level one. I think you need four of these to make the next level one. All right, so now we need to make our capacitors. So we need eight redstone. We're going to need a whole bunch of, we need four per. So we need 16. And then we need, ah, uh, just short. 16 of those, and then we need four copper. And then what else do we need? We need a block of redstone after that, right? Yeah. 
So let's get a block of redstone. Okay, let's make this sucker. So, block of redstone. And then we need to make our capacitors, which are relatively easy but resource intensive. And then we put these guys around, these guys around, and this guy in here. And there's our capacitor bank. It holds 1 million RF, which is awesome. More than enough for our needs right now. Let's claim our reward. And then there's power reserves mark 2, which is a which is the capacitor bank. And that, if I'm not mistaken, this one. Here we go. So we need energetic alloy, which is no problem, double layer capacitors, and empowered redstonia crystal, which we need to make an empowerer for, um, which is, I think, why I want to expand upwards, because um, we can put the empowerer on the roof and stuff. Uh, these double layer capacitors are single ones with energetic alloy and carbon dust, which is easy enough, or crushed coal or whatever, but we have these already. So uh, energetic alloy is... I remember how to make this now. Yeah, glowstone, gold, and redstone, which we have no problem per one of these. So we should be able to make the double layer or the regular capacitor without too much of a problem. Um, it's just the empowered crystals that we'll need to do. So uh, we're going to need to make an empowerer. Empowerer. Uh, we're going to get the capacitor bank upstairs first. Let's get this thing charging. Because even if we, um, even if we um, break it and move it, it keeps all its power, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to put it right in here. Boom. In and out. Now this thing, yeah, everything else is full of power right now, so this thing is going to keep charging. It's like 50 RF per, per tick, which isn't, I mean, it's not a lot, right, to charge it up, but it, I mean, it'll, it'll uh, go up pretty quickly. If we leave it alone, by the time we come back, it'll be full. So with those two windmills going, we can get another one up there going too. we got enough uh, hemp now for that if we need to get another one going. All right, so let's put this power conduit in here. And let's see what else we've got in this rung. So we've got the vat, the breeding machine, Farmer John. This is the guy I want to make a farming station. We get bone meal, diamond axe, and a diamond hoe. Two things that we haven't, well, we got diamond axe, but we haven't got the diamond hoe yet. Uh, farming station, so let's work on that. I think we need a Z logic processor for that one, though, if I'm not mistaken. So there's our farming station. Yeah, so electrical steel, pulsating crystals, Z logic controller, and a diamond hoe, and a machine chassis. So these are all relatively, not necessarily easy to make, but we can do them. So we got, we got a zombie head. We got getting those out of the strainers. Solarium is no problem. This is just gold and soul sand. Um, silicone shouldn't be a problem. I think we can get, I think we can grind it, sand into silicone if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we need to make a slice and splice. Okay. Let's check that one. Slice and splice. More solarium. Hey, you know what? Oh, we got we got skulls. We'll just use the regular skulls. Our players' heads, creepers' heads, anything. Iron axe, machine chassis, shears, and solarium. So we need five for this. So let's just do these one at a time. Make the slice and splice. We need five solarium. So let's go ahead and make that. Uh, so we need five gold, which we've got tons of now, and soul sand. We don't have that much, but we can easily make it if we had to. Just go out and get some souls. So it's gold and soul sand for solarium. Okay, and what else do we need here? Machine chassis, shears, and an iron axe. Those two are easy to make. Uh, so let's do those first, shears and an iron axe. I think we actually have an iron axe, if I'm not mistaken. Did we pick one up? We did. So we have an iron axe. Let's make some shears. I think we can do that in our 2x2 two two here, right? Uh, did they change the recipe for shears? Uh, dark shears. 
shears, shears. Oh, we have to do it in a workbench. Okay, well, sure. Make us use operations. Why not? There we go. We got those two. The redstone away. Let's grab our solarium. And then what else do we need? Um, for the license place, a head and a machine chassis, which is just plates. So we should make a couple of these. We're going to need at least two. So we need to make eight plates, a couple of capacitors. We've got the iron bars and we've got zombie head. No problem. Um, I want to make sure we keep collecting this so that we can get as max it out here. Uh, so we need plates. So let's get eight of these. Iron bars we have in here. So we need eight of these. That's the reason why you pick them up, man. All right, so we'll get this running. Get the slice and splice. We've got to figure out where we're going to put it. We'll probably put it, well, uh, maybe right in here. I don't know. We've got more power conduit, so we can run some stuff off to the side if we have to. Like maybe over here or something. Maybe this was the wrong place to bring the power conduit down. I don't know. But we got room. I mean, we'll put it on this side probably. Or we'll put one under here and then one over here or something. Or just even up there. That's fine. Okay, let's make our capacitors now. We need two of those. So we're going to need more gold. You know what? Let's make four. Because I got a feeling we're going to need them. You know what? Let's not make four. Let's hold off. Uh, just in case we need the redstone for something. We don't have it. We'll have to wait for it to grow. Okay. We should make more um, redstone ore. So we can have more of these going at once. Okay. Capacitors are like, or the uh, machine chassis are this way. Right? Yep. Two of these. We'll put this guy in here. This guy here. I don't think it matters what side these guys go on. And there's our slice and splice. Cool. So let's put the U down here because I don't think we're going to be using U as, uh, as often. So we need shears and an axe in there. Um, some more shears and another axe. I don't think we have another axe though. No, we don't. So five more iron. Five more iron. Okay. So shears. And an axe. And that'll get the slice and splice up running. Okay, cool. So now we need to do... Um, so it's our farming station we're working on. So let's go back to farming station. Okay, what do we got here? The Z-Logic controller is the one we got to work on next. So in the slice and splice, it's just redstone, two solarium, a zombie head, and some silicone. And I believe... Start off with the silicone and the zombie head. I think silicone is just, yeah, well, we got four. No big deal. Uh, we only gonna need one farming station, I think, but we got the item conduit to move stuff too, so we could just put it straight into our kitchen. But I think most likely we're gonna have to put it into a crate We'll figure that out. We gotta run power to all the way over to the friggin' farming station area. <sighs> really? Okay, so we need two solarium. Let's put the silicone in here. So we'll get our soul stand, and then we need a one redstone. So a two soul stand. So this recipe wasn't too bad at all. And if I remember correctly, we can just shift click these and they will automatically go into where they're supposed to go. Takes forever though for these things. Come on, there we go. All right, so yeah, we just click these and these go right where they need to go. And we start that going. Takes a little bit of a time, a little bit of time, but that's that. So now what else do we need for their farming station? Um, we need to get pulsating crystals, which are pulsating iron nuggets, 
against diamonds. And I don't know how many iron or pulsating iron we have. So two diamonds. Uh, we can make pulsating iron easy enough. It's just an ender pearl and uh, we're just short one nugget at figures. It's ender pearl and iron. So it's easy enough to make. There's our Z logic controller. And that's done. Nice. So we can go ahead and make those now. Let's put this in here. Sorry. Yeah, so this chest here I've been using as my backup chest. So if I die somewhere, I can come back and I can throw all this stuff on and we can go back out and go reclaim our stuff. It's nice to have a backup chest. I, I highly suggest you make one. Uh, I've got a second ender sword, which I found. Uh, another magical tether, just in case we run into trouble. Paxel, iron pick, and then my old armor and the diamond boots that we found. Plus a couple of backpacks. So, yeah, just in a bed, just in case some steak. It's nice to make, nice to have that, just in case you die somewhere and you got to go back and get your stuff, and you're worried about what you're going to do. All right, so now we need electrical steel and a diamond hose. So diamond hose is easy. I don't know if we have electrical steel though. I thought we found some, um, but then I, but then again, I keep saying, oh, I thought I had some, I thought I had some, and I never did. So I think electrical steel is this plus coal powder. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So we're going to make some, and then we need a diamond hoe. So let's go ahead and do that. Diamond hoe, easy enough when you make it correctly. Uh, and then electrical steel. Let's just double check I got this right here. Silicone, coal powder, and iron. So we need one piece of sand, the two silicone. So it's good that I made the extra silicone. So now we need one more piece of sand here. There we go. And that. Cool. And then we put this, this, and this. And that'll make our electrical steel. Cool, now we got a farmer. Now let's make some more. Um, let's do six right now. So redstone's starting to get pretty low. Come on, buddy, hurry up. Redstone's starting to get real low, big fella. All right, put these guys in here. So we're going to make some more energy conduit. Gonna have to run the energy conduit over to the, the farmer. Either that or we remove our farm from there and put it up here, which I don't really want to do. It doesn't sound like an optimal idea. Okay, let's make our farming station. That's a little bit of work, but it's kind of fun. Farming station. Wow. Did we keep our resources? No, we couldn't get that lucky. Couldn't get that lucky. That would have been nice. Uh, another workbench. So we still got lots of crafting tables left, but obviously you want to have as many as possible. Uh, what do we got going? Right, we got our... We have conduit binder still. I think we need to make some. So let's do that. We're going to need conduit binder for sure. So let's make double the amount just so that we have it. And then four of these. So we split that. We split that this and then we should just be able to if we have the right amount for crying out loud why well, i only thought it was eight i don't know kind of a binder is a different recipe um in one seven ten maybe that's why i'm mistaken half the time okay conductive iron nice uh so let's get the reward for the farming station Bone meal, diamond axe, diamond hoe. So the farming station will actually cut trees and everything down too, which is awesome. Green acres. Greenhouse class. We get worms and greenhouse class. Greening machine, which would be great if we actually had any animals. Uh, thrown into the vat. The vat. Storage drawers and chests holding all of your stuff and want a system that will organize and allow infinite crafting operations right while well, you first need a vat for fuel. Craft a vat. Nutrient distillation bucket. Well, all right, let's go check out what it takes to do that. What else we got? Controlling is what? 
drawer controller, compacting drawer, triple compressed dirt, compressed comp, pump up the jam is what? A pump, void resources, void miner. We need a lot of power for that from what I understand though. Let's start off with the vat and then maybe greenhouse glass, I think, probably. So let's work on the vat. Vat, here we go. So we need more electrical steel. Furnace, no problem. F uh, fluid tanks, which I think are okay. Machine chassis we can easily make and a cauldron we can make. This is iron, iron bars, and red stained glass, so we can do that real quick. Starting to question if this is worth it. Um, eight, and then we need eight. Actually, let's get uh, 12. So we'll make our iron plates as well. And we need glass. Glass, glass, glass. We're gonna need two glass. Let's grab, oh, we got glass, all right. Let's not use our resources if we don't have to. Um, need to make our basic capacitor again. Two, and then our eight, well, we don't need four gold. Okay, so what can we make here first? This guy, so we have that. And then we can go like this, like that, and like that. So now we have two of these guys. Uh, we need to put these guys in and make some iron plates. I love how they gated the machine, machine chassis behind iron plates. So you can't make any machines until later, until you get this thing done. All right, let's grab these. And we're gonna make our machine chassis. Machine chassis, man. Okay, now we need to get four of these, a furnace and a cauldron. So that's 11 iron. Right, because we need seven for the cauldron. And four carbon dust works too, I think. Four, and then we need two sand for the silicone, right? That's the cauldron, and then we need to make a furnace. So let's get this stuff going first. And we don't have the silicone yet. We do now though. Yep, that works. Okay, that can go in there. And then let's make the cauldron, which is cauldron, and this guy. Nice, so we can put this stuff in here, and have it ready, or when the electrical steel is done. So that'll make our vat. Now I think this needs to be powered if I'm not mistaken. Most likely. So we're gonna make our power conduit now. So let's grab our conduit binder out not going to make our power conduit now. Not with this stuff in here, we ain't. Might as well get our conduit ready. There we go. So we got a little bit of that. And put these things back in. How are we doing? Got two. It's nice that they stay in the workbench. Reminds me of T-Construct. Let's put the bone meal over here now. I know we should put that right in the, uh, we should put it right in the, um, the farming station when we go do it. How are we doing here? How do we run out of silicone? How do we run out of silicone? Did I only put one in here? Maybe I did. I thought for sure. Oh, we, well, we didn't get any crits, that's why. Oh, I just assumed it was two. 
That was what it was. Because we got double crit last time, I just assumed it was two. Ah. That would make sense. I don't know why I'm collecting this anymore. I don't really need it. Let's not turn our fridge uh, brown here if we can avoid it again. I wish we could make it stainless steel. That would be kind of cool. Let's check to see if we got any diamonds. We do. Yay. And coal powder. Any more barbed wire? Nope. Yep. Let's go drop this outside while we're waiting for the electrical steel. So it's been really quiet since that guy busted in. But these turrets have been doing a good job. I've only heard him fire a couple of times. But at least we don't have to worry about people busting into our base anymore. Well, at least for a while anyway. Put that in there. Okay, there's the bat. Nice. So what does that open up for us? Just nutrient distillation bucket. Inventory upgrade. Inventory panel. Remote awareness up. So this is I've never actually got I never actually went this route and done all like I never actually used any of this stuff. I built it but I never used it. So although we should probably start doing all that. Let's actually you know what? Let's do some stuff here. Uh, we get, we're starting to get a lot of stuff and we're getting ahead of ourselves. So let's do that. We're going to need this, but this can go in here. This can come out. We can need these for the farming station. So we're going to work on getting that farming station in place. So we're going to have to break a worm here because it needs to go right in the center. Um, how are we going to run power? Okay, and then so the farming station needs to go right there. Like that. And then we can put in these two and this. That'll extend the range. Wonder if we're going to be in problems here without worms down. Let's go grab a couple more worms. Uh, do we have worms in here? We ran out of worms. We ran out of worms, guys. I know what we can do, though. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of work, but let's go do this. We need a bucket. Probably gonna have to retill some of this. Um, let's go get some water. There's a way we can do this without. Can I not reach the water from there? No. Oh yeah, right. We're down one level there. Okay, let's go and put the water in. That should save our irrigation. Okay, that'll save what's already there. Okay, parsnip and okra. So we can just break this. Hear those turrets going off? wonder if it's Herobrine out there. I really hope it is. Really, really hope it's Herobrine. Getting smoked by the turrets. Freaking deserves that. Uh, let's put our buckets away. Where are our buckets? Right here. Okay. So we're going to run our power. Um, actually, the first thing we need to do is do this. Okay. Then we put this here. And then we put our farming station here, right? And then we can pull our diamond hoe out. Not that it matters because it's going to hoe this ground anyway. I just want to plant what I want to plant here. Um, what are things we're going to use more often? I have no idea. Potatoes probably. Put a potato gun. 
Okay, so that's in. Let's grab our power. We can run our power like this and like this, right? And like that. So that's going to power the station. Now we need to get run it along upstairs. Hope we have enough. And where is it going to reach? I hear somebody friggin' digging. How'd you get... How'd you get in my base? How'd you get underneath my base? Yeah, that's friggin' not good, man. Come on, guys. Let's knock this one out for you. Alright, well, next episode we are going down there to check that out. I don't even know where they came. There's like caves under here. They dug into the base. Almost. Almost dug in. Alright, we're going down there tomorrow. Alright, so you know what? I'm going to end the episode on a cliffhanger here. And we are going to stop right now. Uh, we're going to have to figure out what the hell is going on under our base. Um, so we're going to do that uh, in the next episode. That is going to be an adventure in itself. I don't know how the hell those... I thought for sure we had gotten everything down there, but I guess we did not. Oh, man. Really? It's... Uh, well, at least you get a good chance to see what this game's all about now. Um, yeah. Definitely need those turrets up. Definitely needed those turrets up. Should have enough for another windmill now, almost. Yeah. Okay, well... Next episode is going to be base solidification. We're definitely we're going to be exploring under the base. Really? Uh, let's put this back in here. Actually, should that not be... I don't think it matters where those go. We'll get the power running next time. Um, yeah. Frustrating. All right, we're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We got a bunch of stuff up and running, uh, or at least completed. We got the vat done. We got our uh, power conduit done. We got our sawmill is up there. Um, and our farming station is in, but not powered. But we'll be getting that done soon enough. And we're going to really have to fix this base up. Uh, I think the next couple of days will be just base defense. Um, I shouldn't have probably built out that way for the farm. I should have gone up, I think, and then just reinforce this we may have to go up one more level uh move all our important stuff up one level just to see i think we're okay here though i think underneath this base is fine but whatever's going on down under there another cave somewhere um yeah all right so we'll leave the episode there hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like um if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and you can drop any comments or questions in the comment section down below and until next time we'll see you later